All right, guys, I think we're gonna start this video with a farming level if I haven't checked this yet, and we didn't, so we can now grow papaya trees, a 57 farming, getting closer to use seeds, even though I only have like four use seeds in my bank. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing just my daily tree runs on top of maybe a couple herb runs a day. Hopefully I can manage that. All right, so we have, I think, five totems in the bank, so we're just gonna do these real quick, get some hard clues. Um, before we finish this greater demon task, I figure we might as well do that. Alrighty, we got ourselves another casket here from the Scotizo. An ancient plate body, that, that is definitely unique. All right. Hey guys, we just got another casket from our last totem there. Let's see what we get. Oh my. We are just about to come in with an attack level here. Osbody is completely down, but I guess I could just look like this. Um, I think pretty soon I'm hoping we can get 87 Slayer either today or tomorrow. And if I can do that, then hopefully we will be able to get ourselves the Kraken Tentacle or at least the Trident in the next couple of days. And Bandos Chaps, that's actually pretty nice. I think that's my only Bandos item I have now. So not only is that my first Bandos item, that is also my first God Dragon Hide Chaps, um, which I had been wanting to get for quite a while. Even though I have Carols, I probably will still find use for God Dragon Hide Chaps at some point. All right, here we are coming in with 87 Slayer. This has been a long time coming. I do have quite a bit of points here, 703 points that I can use to skip. Um, we are going to try to go get ourselves a Kraken task, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, here we are coming in with 85 attack. Right now I'm going to switch it up and put it on defense. Here comes 82 defense, and hopefully we can get ourselves a Kraken task soon. We have been working on trying to get a Kraken task for quite a while, but this is going to be 82 defense, so the next time I don't hit a zero, there we go. Alrighty, so we got ourselves up to 658 points now. Um, I'm actually going to try, I'm going to extend Krakens here just because I want to make sure that if I get a task, it's going to be a big one. Because if I spend a bunch of points to skip, I only get like 100, that's going to really suck. If I get crack on, I should get at least 200. Alrighty, we have 153 here, see if we can get the Kraken. Oh my god, finally! Holy crap, that must have been... Because I started with 700 points when I got 87 Slayer, and then I got another 700. I probably spent a, about 15 or 1600 Slayer points getting a Cave Kraken task. That is absolutely insane. And then I also extended it. And I still only got, what was that, 153 of them? How many did I get? That's not that many. 163. Oh, that kind of sucks. Hopefully, hopefully we can get the, hopefully we can get the trident. I think if we get the trident, I'll probably just stop doing Kraken and go to Barrows. But hopefully I'll be able to get the tentacle too. We'll see how this goes. Interesting enough, we're about to come in with 86 magic. Quite a weird place to get a magic level. Okay, can we get the trident on the last kill of the task? And no, we got soul runes, so that really sucks. Um, I think that was 160, it was about 165 if I had guess. But yeah, no. <laughs> No trident. We just got ourselves a hard clue. This was from Killing Hellhounds, so... Ooh! Gothic's Dragonhide top. Ah, that kind of sucks. Uh, Elf Camp Teleport is actually really nice, though. So I actually have three of the six Dragonhide tops. I'm missing Ancient, Zamorak, and Bandos. That kind of sucks, though, because I really need a Dragonhide Coif. And I don't have any of the Bracers, either. So, that kind of sucks. But, I mean, it is, it's another unique, I guess. And I actually only have four Dragonhide tops that are black, and then have three, I have three blessed ones, which is kind of interesting, but I guess that's a nice clue still. 42 hard clues done. Hey, look at that. I just missed a defensive level, but we just got ourselves 83 defense. Uh, just got a Hellhound task here. 
and this is going to be my 280th task and it should get me quite a few points all right so what will be our 300th task dust that was awesome but i kind of missed that but we just got 93 hit points while bursting these dust devils all right we did finally get another kraken task we have 165 to go so finally we got ourselves another task yes we finally got it um i don't know how many kills that was but we literally we only have two kills left on this task um, I know this was a task of about 160, so that was probably less than 300 total. I don't know if it really shows Krakens on here. Okay, so 326 is what it took me to get my first uncharged trident. That's a quite a long time, man. I'm so happy that I finally have the thing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go to Barrows after this, and we'll see from there. Alright, so for the first Barrows chest of the day... Dare Axe, I believe I already have that. Yep, I definitely already have that one. That sucks. 81. And Dark Plate Legs. Ah, I'm pretty sure I have that too. God dang it. That sucks. I've could have I could have completed Dare Ox already. Man, and that's probably one of the most useful like sets I can have. I think Dare Ox and Guffins are the most useful. Alrighty, here's gonna be a chest 90. And, oh yes! Aram's robe skirt, that is awesome. I can't even, wow, <laughs> holy crap, that is good. How much is that worth? Okay, I thought it was more than that. It must have went down, because I know it went up quite a bit because of the, I don't know, it was Inferno, or it was just because raids. Dang, that's crazy. That's really good, though. That's basically best in slot for Zora. Um, I do want to get the Arahim top. That'd be really nice. But right now, I think I'm going to keep doing barrels until I have enough Chaos runes to get myself a, a Fury. Alrighty, chest 92. And we got an Elite Clue Scroll. Alright, here's going to be chest 114. Ooh, we got the Varax Flail. All right, so let's check. I'm pretty sure that is a unique. Um, yep, that is absolutely a unique. That is pretty nice. Um, so now I have two of the four Varak pieces, two of the four Darak. I have two of four Torags, and I also have two, three of four Carols with no Gothans and one Aram. One, uh, one Aram. So. Doing pretty well on barrels so far. Okay, this is gonna be chest 116, and we got a loop path, all right. Hey guys, what's up? I was going to do barrels to get the rest of the chaos runes that I need for the onyx, but I have decided to change my mind just because I want to start working on my zerker. Um, I need some AFK to do, and I need to get like 10 crafting levels on this account before I can get myself the actual fury and then I also have to do a lot of agility. So I'm just gonna get myself, I think about 31,000 chaos runes and I think that should be plenty. I think if I get that many, I won't really have to worry about chaos runes even after I buy the onyx. So there we go. I probably need to get like 30,000 fire runes right now because I had 40,000 the other day when I got the trident and now I literally have zero. So it goes pretty quick. Alrighty, there we go. It's 260,000 total now. And now I gotta go figure out where to get this Onyx. I've actually never bought one. Well, hopefully this is the right gem shop. Alright, there we go. 260,000 total. There is our Amulet of Fury. Um, obviously, I gotta get nine crafting levels. I'm actually pretty close to 77 so I guess I got to get eight crafting levels but that's still gonna take a very long time um, but yeah we're gonna work on that and I also have to get 76 agility for Zora and yeah I guess that's gonna be my goals from here on alrighty so we are gonna end this episode with a crafting level this is gonna be 77 crafting um, I think the next episode I'm gonna try and just bust out 80 crafting at least and then also poke at some agility. I have to get 76 agility. That's going to take quite a while. Now I also kind of might want to work on some construction this next episode. Because 
I have a ton of teaks. But I'm pretty sure that'll get me probably close to 75 construction, just that there. And then I also have my kingdom on teaks. And considering this crafting and agility is going to definitely take me quite a few days, I might be able to get close to 80 banked, hopefully 83, then I could get myself the rejuvenation pool, but we'll see what we can get with that. All right, guys, so closing out this video, we have about 800k coins there, but we also have a bunch of stuff here we can out from doing Slayer. We also have about 2,400 U longbows, which will turn into, I think, somewhere around 1.7, 1.8 mil. We'll see. But we also have a bunch of battle staffs, which I think we can out for about 1.2 mil. And we also have 1,300 magic logs, so we have quite a bit of GP here in the bank. We are going to be working on construction right after we do the 76 agility and the 85 crafting because we want to get the best rejuvenation pool po possible to do Zoa. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.